Okay, Slava Isusu Christu, everyone. So, welcome, welcome to our, I, I, I believe this is our third, no, fourth lesson. Fourth lesson. So, uh, yes, we will uh, continue our school of catechism. Today, we have uh, uh, our uh, talk about the third commandment of God. And which is to remember the Sabbath they keep uh, to keep holy. So uh, I sent previously few uh, just um, a few quotes from the Bible or from our catechism, just uh, for everyone of us to take a look and to see what is uh, what is there and uh, how to, maybe some questions or just to add some reflections. So it will be very nice when we can. Uh, work together and Irena told me last uh, session that I didn't have chance to to everyone else to speak you know so I will try to uh, be a little bit slower today and just to have uh, time for the discussion as well okay so uh, we will start maybe what the bible actually saying about this commandment so and that I didn't send you that uh, uh, link uh, so that it's book of Deuteronomy uh, chapter 5 verses 11 to 15 11 to 15 so it's again Deuteronomy uh, chapter 5 11 to 15 11 to 15 so if you find and if, you, if somebody of you would like to read or uh, it will be nice and then we will we will go from that I have my Bible open here, and I did just uh, get to it quickly, so okay. I will, if you don't mind. Yes. So chapter 5, 11 says, You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not leave him unpunished who takes his name in vain. Yeah, okay, So sorry, it's supposed to be 12. Yeah, because we. this is what we discussed last, last uh, lesson, yes, okay. So going into 12, it says, observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy as the Lord your God commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it, you shall not do any work. You or your son or your daughter or your male servant. Uh, or your female servant, or your ox, or your donkey, or any of your cattle, or your sojourner who stays with you, so that your male and your female servant may not may rest as well as you. 15. As you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God brought you out of there by a mighty hand and by an outstretched arm, Therefore, the Lord your God commanded you to observe the Sabbath day. And by the way, I'm reading from the New American Standard Bible. That's mm -hmm. what I'm using. Yes, yes, yes. So because we have different maybe versions, but the yeah. idea is the same, that God is uh, uh, in this commandment telling us to keep the Sabbath day holy, the seventh day as he worked, God created the world six day, on the seven days, he took back and he said everything what he created, it was good. And on the seventh day, especially man, the culmination of his cre creation, on the seventh day, he took rest. He took rest. And this is what he asking from us to work, but also to have a rest. Just uh, before the other day, I find something uh, about the commandments as we start to talk. I will just share a screen. You don't need to do nothing. Just look on the, uh, hopefully you will be able to see. Okay, yeah, it's not here. Just one second. Uh, okay, uh, the commandments. It's, it's nice uh, picture. In, it's in Ukrainian. Okay, just one second. Uh, Okay, it's right here, uh, share screen. Okay. okay, are you able to see this picture? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, so uh, it's uh, two character, two, uh, two, uh, two gentlemen, and we see uh, on, on the bottom says God's commandments. And uh, the first one who is jumping, he said, oh, this fence, it's too tight for me. I will just uh, jump over. 
And that one in the uh, green uh, jacket said, no, st uh, just stay, is, uh, stop, because that it's not fence. And he said that protection, which protects, protect you. So actually the God's commandments protects us. Do not fall from that abyss, from that, uh, from that uh, abyss down. Mm -hmm. It's just very nice. I just saw the other day on the, uh, on the media, this picture. So I thought, okay, I will share with you. Okay. Yeah. And now we come, we come back. It's yeah. This is how generally what we are talking about the commandments, which protect us do not fall into the abyss you know into that uh, uh, in ukrainian we say prirva so yes we spoke about this i would like would like just to add uh, one thought maybe father you were told already with you that god created the world six days one day he took a rest uh in, even in, in seminary, when we learn about um, uh, the creation of the world, the book of Genesis, uh, Exodus, all that uh, Pentateuch, five, bo uh, five uh, books of the Old Testament, first f five books, uh, we were told that uh, uh, we cannot only to accept that uh, literally, that it was five days, 24 or six, seven days, 24 hours. It could be one day as a one long day time of period so i would like to to uh, to now just to have idea why is that it one day could uh, contain contain a long time of period then when everything was completed created by god so then they moved to the second day so when we open our book uh, okay so uh, i'm looking here the second peter a uh, letter to the second sec, Peter 3 8. Okay, I have second Peter chapter 3 8, and I will read for you just to have an idea. Uh, okay, so this uh, second Peter uh, chapter 3, uh, verse 3, uh, verse uh, 8. Sorry, chapter 3, verse 8. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved. That was the Lord. One day is like a thousand years. Thousand years like one day. So we see that for it's for us human that we uh, uh, thinking in this term, you know, uh, uh, real terms, day twenty four hours. But for God, one day could have uh, one thousand years, and one thousand could be one day because God is. Be beyond the time he does not uh limit it with with the time so anyway so we are talking about this and we see that uh, uh, this commandment inviting us inviting us to have respect for that uh, for that day so now let us uh, look uh, how jewish people because sabbath day it was originally instituted in old testament that Jewish people and now we Christians we celebrate Sunday. Why Sunday? So this is what we will try to give answer during this lesson. So now let us open book uh, Exodus chapter 16, 22 verse to 24. If somebody of you have opened, if you can just unmute and read Exodus 16, 22 to 24. I have it here. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So this is Exodus 16, 22 to 24. On the sixth day, they gathered twice as much food, four quarts for each person. All the leaders of the community came and told Moses about it. And he said to them, the Lord has commanded that tomorrow is a holy day of rest dedicated to him. Bake today what you want to bake and boil what you want to boil. Whatever is left should be put aside and kept for tomorrow. When I uh, hear these words, I remember my life from, from Ukraine. When Sunday is supposed to come, 
my dad has supposed to cut, uh, to uh, make uh, food for the cows for uh, for the all animals in uh, our uh, household my mom saturday it was always busy they start to prepare all food everything for sunday everything for sunday because it was a holiday for us that we cannot do hard work because that as lord mentioned here it's his day we cannot take his day or steal his day so at, at this moment maybe i would like to share with you one story uh, one story which uh, happens. Uh, uh, okay, 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 sorry. Okay, uh, can you see me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that story happens uh, in the life of one priest and um, his parishioners who didn't come to church regularly, especially on Sunday, to celebrate that Lord's Day. So uh, he said that story to his uh, parishioners. Uh, and he started that story from, from this moment. One uh, rich man met a beggar. Beggar came to him and started to ask some help, a special financial help. That rich man had only seven uh, silver piece, uh, silver silver coins. And when he said the story, uh, the rich man had uh, pity on him and gave him two uh, coins. And so then, that uh, beggar start to walk together with this rich man. And then after that, he told him another story and he started to cry. How hard is his life? So that, that rich man said, you know, here is another two coins. Take, take for yourself, buy something, whatever you need. When they came to, this, uh, to the well, uh, they sat together and that rich man had uh, some, uh, some lunch with him. He shared with that beggar, and that beggar to told him another story, very touching story. And that uh, rich man said, you know, this is another two silver coins for you, just that God be merciful, because God is good for me. When he took these two uh, coins, then he picked knife from his pocket and put to the uh, neck and said, and now give me your seven silver coin. So then that priest asked his parishioners, what do you think? What that uh, uh, beggar deserve? And all his parishioners answered, oh, he deserved death. He deserved death altogether, they cried out. And that priest said to, the, to his parishioners, something similar you deserve as well, because you are the same beggar. God gave you seven, six coins to work, to multiply, but you would like to steal his last seven coins because you need to work, you need to make more money. I believe this story tells us the importance of the seventh day, that yes, God gave us, and he just reserved only one day, not anymore, and that day we should keep holy. So, yes, if you have some reflection you would like to add, or maybe you have something from the, just go ahead and it will be very nice to have discussion. So, okay, I, Father Gerald, yes. I will bring something. I did my homework. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, and I, well, I, I did all the readings and I was fine with everything except when I got to the uh, Pasha of the Christ. And I, I was, uh, so, so the, the, the numbers that you mentioned were 238, 2, 445, 557, 558, 983, 984, kind of threw me a bit because I never was aware that um, it says. So you're talking about the Christ our Pascha catechism, yes? Correct. Okay, Correct. so uh, because I don't remember from. Uh, a well, you'll remember when I, start, when I start talking. So it says that the Friday was the sixth day of 
the week. Mm -hmm. And the seventh day is the Sabbath, which is Saturday. And then they go on to discuss why we celebrate Sunday. The, and they discuss it as being the eighth day, which is because of the ascension. Mm -hmm. That kind of threw me. I, I just, I, because, and, and, and then one of the statements that's in there really indicated it said that if you don't celebrate Saturday, why are you celebrating Sunday? And it almost mm -hmm. made me feel like, okay, I, like I've, Saturday and Sunday were the same, uh, equally but important. I've never, I've never celebrated Saturday, and it says in here, if you don't yeah. celebrate Saturday. I read that, too. Yes, I, I read that. Yes, yes. Okay, it's, so, so can you understand my confusion? Or I'm, all, I'm almost feeling like a, a sinner because I really don't celebrate Saturday. I'm sorry. No, no, uh, no, no nobody... Uh, um, uh, invites us or saying obligate us to ce ce celebrate Saturday. I don't. I never celebrate Saturday because Saturday for yeah. us because we are uh, as again we are not following the rules uh, of the Old Testament. Okay, let's let's read the whole uh, paragraph. Do you have uh, Jerry the catechism beside you? What number oh. is that? It's five five seven, I believe. Yes. Uh, 557 and 558. So I, I did make some notes for myself. They're not exactly ex okay. as... Okay, I, I will then read. I will read uh, that sure. so as to have a full picture of that, okay? okay. So yes, that paragraph 557, uh, this day of the Lord became the death and resurrection of Christ, bringing to fulfillment the old covenant Christ accepted death on the cross on the sixth day of the week, which is Friday, okay? Mm -hmm. On the seventh day, the Sabbath, he restored, uh, he rested in tomb from the old work he had done. So it was day of rest for Jesus as he died and he was placed in the tomb. The church sings on this on great and holy Saturday. What is this repose today? It is the eternal king who through sufferings accomplished salvation, keeping the Sabbath in the grave and offering us a new Sabbath. This is important. He is laying there and offering us a new Sabbath. After the Sabbath repose on the first day of the week, that is sun on Sunday, the Lord shone forth from the tomb. For Christians, this first day became the true day of the Lord, exceptional and salvific. Accordingly, the eighth, eighth day, which is the first day of the week, represents to us that original life given before the fall, not taken away, but made eternal. The church celebrates the day of the Lord's resurrection by the liturgical breaking of bread, which is divine liturgy. Right. That is with the Eucharist offering the faithful communion unto life eternal. And the second part, uh, 558. From early on, the church honored Saturday as the holy seventh day of the rest, on which we commune with God in a holy manner. Sunday then became the eighth day, the day of celebrating Christ's resurrection. Consequently, to the present day, Saturday and Sunday in the churches of the Byzantine tradition are always Eucharistic days, even during the Lent. So at this moment, as you remember, no liturgy from Monday to, Sat uh, to Friday. Mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday, never fasting days. <laughs> or we allow to celebrate Eucharist because during the uh, Lent, we are not celebrating pure Eucharist because Eucharist is a joyous moment. It's a heavenly uh, joy. And uh, Lent, it's a repentant character. So these two things does not go together. But the church always saying that mm. Saturday, Sunday, and I believe this is from, from the Old Testament, uh, that it's not a fasting. So that it's time to rejoice, Okay. So uh, Sunday in the church, always a Eucharistic days, even during the great land. Truly, how can you look Sunday in the face if you do not honor Saturday? So that I believe it's saying in that light of the great land. If you do not keep uh, Saturday as a day of joy, 
you fasting, you making prostration, you are doing like all others. So then you are not honoring the Sunday as well. So I believe this is maybe goes into the whole context of the great land that truly Saturday and Sunday, it's a Lord's day. Uh, are you aware that these two are sisters and that is uh, if you wrong one, you dishonor the other. So I believe the answer to that is because this is what God in Old Testament uh, gave to the Jewish people. And Jesus Christ came and he had respect for that uh, Sabbath day. And he, I have uh, here lots of stories how he healed different people on the Sabbath and the Pharisees came to him, started to complain. You are not uh, uh, celebrate mm -hmm. Sabbath, you break, you know. And Jesus said clearly two statements. The first one, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. And the second, the Sabbath is for man, but the, not man is for Sabbath. And I believe this is the second statement which Pharisees took uh, into their heart and start to, that they are living for Sabbath. But he said, no. And another point which Jesus brought up that on Sabbath, we, we can never stay, be, take rest or day off from doing good stuff, doing good things in our life. We, that it's never break the Sabbath day if we're doing something good to somebody else, you know. So, mm. But at this moment, as we are talking about the Saturday, sun, Sunday, as we clearly know that Sunday, it's the first day, and this is the day of the resurrection of Jesus. G a new Passover, because it was in the Old Testament, but Jesus said, I am oh, yeah. Lord of uh, I am the uh, Lord of the Sabbath. He is one, and he came to the, to, to the life and his resurrection. Sunday, second reason, it was uh, uh, the descending of the Holy Spirit. It was also on Sunday, on the tenth day after his uh, uh, ascension to uh, after his ascension to heaven. So that was on Sunday. But I find preparing this uh, lesson a quote from the Old Testament, which is related to the new uh, new time, to the time of Jesus, and also to us. Jesus, a uh, God, on that time, he already prepared chosen people that everything will be changed okay so i would like if you can open a uh, book jeremiah uh, chapter 31 and verses 31 to 34 jeremiah 31 chapter to 31 to 34 father can i interrupt yes okay so continuing on the conversation that that we're just having okay um so i've always thought of sunday as being the seventh day and what you just said you said i i think if i heard you correctly that it's the first day uh this this is what uh, the gospel said if you remember that story uh okay. early in the morning on the first day of the week the bearing women you know so this is how we calculate and it's for me always it's seven day because we start to count from monday tuesday but on that time right. they start to 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 call so i'm talking now using the language of the holy script holy scripture you know so uh, for us yes i'm agree with you this is you know first day monday and goes on but jewish people they start to count days from sunday sunday first uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday Saturday, um, okay, 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 okay. no, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yes, seven days. So, you know, because this is how they start to count. But I, uh, let's read this and we will yeah. see that yeah. God prepare uh, to change, to give a new, new, um, uh, new, uh, rules to that. Understanding. Yes, understand because because of the sin. I believe because of the sin. Yes, so that Jeremiah 31, 30, 31 to 34. If you have some, if you open, so if you can read. 
31 to 34? Yes. <clears throat> you get it? <clears throat> 31 to 34. See, the days are coming. It is Yahweh who speaks. When I will make a new covenant with the home of Israel and the home of Judah, but not a covenant like the one I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, they broke that commandment of mine. So I had to allow them who was, who was master, it is Yahweh who speaks. No, this is the covenant I will take, I will make with the house of Israel when those days arrive. It is Yahweh who speaks deep within them. I will paint my law, plant my law, writing it on their hearts. That's up to 34? Yes. We have to write all of 34? Uh, yeah, you can just yes. to, to have the context what it's. Uh, then I will give them, and then I will be their God, and they shall be my people. There will be no further needed for neighbor to try to teach neighbor or brother to say brother. Learn to know Yahweh. No, they will all know me, the least, no less than the greatest. It is Yahweh who speaks. Since I will forgive their iniquity and never call their sin to mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. So from this uh, quote, we see that God is making new covenant. New covenant because, uh, as He said, they broke my covenant uh, through I was their master. But this is covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days. Oracle in my in my. Um, uh, version oracle of the lord i will place my law with them and write it upon their hearts so in this place jesus uh, jesus lord already preparing us to make a new covenant with us new tradition new celebration preparing the uh, our hearts for changes for changes because of the sin that people they broke especially those the jewish people in the uh, in the um, uh, in the desert, when they walk, uh, you know, 40, 40 years, they can walk to that promised land in 40 days, but they wandered 40 years because of the sin, because they broke how many times, it's multiple, multiply times the promise which they gave to God. So yes, and with this uh, quote, it's prepared that God is making new covenant, new tradition, and he talking about Jesus Christ, our Savior, that he is coming and he will make uh, change our lives, uh, our lives and uh, uh, our entire, entire, uh, entire uh, faith and everything. Yes. So if you have some questions, yes, I, I know we can't maybe so, uh, you know, literally to say in this say in this um, place Jesus uh, Lord or Jesus said from now and on I uh, uh, change Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday you know but it's going slowly with the explanation of the Holy Fathers with what is here because for me personally when Jesus said I am the Lord of the Sabbath so and I believe that and when Jesus said the resurrection is the culmination because if there will be no resurrection apostle paul said marna it will be our faith uh, how to say uh, uh, um, um, if if jesus does not uh, rise from the tomb your faith will be uh, uh, um, you know marna bude vaša vira in ukrainian we say you know? empty yeah so it's for me or empty yes so then for me Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath, and the resurrection is the uh, is the now replacing the Sabbath. We truly, we truly going and celebrate that Lord's Day because this is when He gave us hope, gave us hope to uh, uh, to live and to see that this is the day which we reserve for God. 
And uh, yeah, so uh, I would like also to say, uh, this is what I experienced when uh, just little stories as well. Beside that, just you know, uh, when I came to Rosborn district uh, and uh, older farmers told me, father, you know, Sunday, it's a Lord's day. When we start to combine or to do harvest everything, we never work on Sunday because Sunday we went to the church and maybe if it was good weather. So we went to the church after that afternoon, we came and start our harvest, but never in the morning. But now if that harvest and it's nice weather, everyone is there and that technology structures, everything it's, it's maybe a hundred times uh, perfect that was before. And it was enough time for those people, but now mm -hmm. it's not enough time. You know, Sunday is only day to catch up with everything and, and to go with that. But yes, I know some, some parishioners, some good farmers, they said, you know, I, I, uh, I don't care what it's, uh, how it's weather, what it's going on. The church is on the first place, you know, so this is what, this is how we need to uh, celebrate the day with the Lord, with the family, mm -hmm. uh, have also physical rest as well, you know, so this is why we are talking of other, um, or uh, to clean the house, to wash the, uh, the clothes or something. It's not hard now because we have machine uh, earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, I believe maybe, and that was here too. The people took the uh, the clothes, went with basket to the river, to the lake. They mm -hmm. uh, they wash everything in the river. It was a physically hard work. Now you just load into your and press just one button, and uh, in one hour everything is clean. You know, so they are talking now. Is that sin or not? Like for me personally, I try to. To do everything Saturday from Monday to Saturday. Sometimes it was like Dominic's shirt because they do, to, they have to uh, uh, to, be, to wear in school. They have uniform, and it was the last one. He didn't have nothing else. I said, "Diana, no, what what we can do?" So fr a Sunday evening later, nine o'clock, we'll just put and because there was no. So you know, I don't believe that it's a grave mortal sin what we are doing. It's important how we prepare and what is the mm -hmm. main reason of that, you know, what we are doing. But I try to keep, you know, uh, to clean the house, everything, to prepare even some something uh, which is uh, required, never to fix car or something like that, which is we call unnecessary work. Some people, you know, oh, I don't, I am boring. I'm going to garage to, to fix something, to do something, to paint. So this is this is what how we need to 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 have a little uh, rest from all that daily routines daily routines and to because how we can worship only to say our prayer to read the Bible to attend the church to visit family now we can phys visit physically but we can visit by. Uh, Skype, different uh, uh, programs, internet, or even by phone, you know. So, yes, this is how we're supposed to celebrate or to uh, keep the Sabbath day holy. Sabbath day holy. And, yes, again, so if you have questions, if not, so maybe we can just, because I mentioned a little bit, and even back to our conversation Sunday, uh, Apostle, jo uh, Apostle John in book of Revelation already mentioned Sunday. Just uh, just word, but they switch already. So let's let, let's look there. Maybe just give us uh, uh, even the uh, to read the name Sunday that it's present already in the in the uh, s s that s nobody will tell us. Oh, you you are doing something wrong because there is nothing mentioned in the Bible. So Revelation. Chapter 1, chapter 1, verse 10. Revelation 1, 10. Uh, 
Father, um, it's Linda, and I have that, but it says the Lord's Day. It doesn't say Sunday. But, you know, I, I look in my, uh, just one second, I will bring uh, my Ukrainian, because in Ukrainian version, it says Sunday. Uh, just one okay. second. Okay. Just one second, yes. Natalia, are you, it's Linda from Rossburn, are you listening to the Catholic uh, homeschoolers uh, thing this week? It's a conference online? No, are you aware of it? What's that? Oh, I can't understand what you said. Sorry. And then Linda, I'll, I'll text you. Thank you. Oh, I don't have a text. So you, that's okay. I know I don't know. I don't know about it. Which one is it? Where is it from? You know what? It's from Catholic Homeschoolers. I'll send it to your mom. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I have my my translation here, and it's it's clearly says, "Ya bov odusi nedilu i pochu." You know, nedilu i pochu. So because I prepare my uh, quotes, everything from Ukrainian version, and then I just send uh, that. Yes. Yeah. So again, we see Lord's Day. So uh, yeah, because I I look here Sunday. You know, mentioned it's clearly Sunday. <laughs> I was in the spirit on Sunday. And I heard the voice from the pulp, uh, trumpet, loud voice from the trumpet. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, if you have some, because, yeah, it's 7.42 already, because I thought maybe we will switch to the catechism, because also all these uh, paragraphers, they give us a little bit deeper understanding uh, why uh, Sunday is important, there, because mm -hmm. everything all those paragraphs which I gave to you, everything connected to the resurrection. That, uh, this is what uh, Psalm said. This is the uh, this is the um, uh, this is the day that Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is what every Easter we celebrate and sing at the liturgies. The words from the Holy Scripture. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So I believe this is what gives us the solemnity to that Lord's Day, which is a Sunday, the day of the resurrection and the day of the uh, new creation for every one of us. And the day when the church was born, because we know that on the Feast mm -hmm. of Pentecost, which happens also Sunday, the church was born and uh, start to uh, start to preach that word of God, the word of God. So yeah, if you have uh, something, if you would like maybe to the world, the Maybe the world picked up on this Sabbath on Saturday and Sunday, and that's why we have a weekend. We haven't, we never had weekends when I was growing up that much. Yes. But, yeah. you know, now we have weekends. Yeah. So but, they, it, it come, could come from there. It could be, it could be connected, you know, because it was uh, Sabbath, Sabbath uh, Saturday before, you know, before the coming of Jesus Christ, it was the day of rest. And this is what clearly says in the Old Testament. And I know not everyone accept New Testament or what it's written in the New Testament. So, and this is maybe because be, uh, between all faithful, these two days are marked special. Like again, for us, we can do any work for uh, for Saturday. It's not uh, that we are breaking something. Uh, I believe in the catechism, this is what they mean in the light of the uh, land. That is two days where there is no fasting, no uh, any obligation to keep uh, repentant character during the, those days. Only to celebrate as they again consider as a Lord's day. As a Lord's Day, that is, you know, what Dorothy mentioned. That is very, very interesting. It it it, it, it can it, it can come from that 
place. Yeah, it's life. like why why do we even have weekends when you think about it? Yes. Like, why? What's the reason for it? Or even why we don't have Sunday and Monday? Right. You know, just right. Saturday, so maybe. This is mm -hmm. how based, you know, uh, slowly from century to century, you know, and this is how, how came up with that. And we never, maybe if we will look into the uh, word or tradition, maybe there is different, uh, you know, foundation for that. But it could be, it could be coming from the, from this uh, from this discussion what we discuss yeah. yeah so again yeah i think it's uh, 747 uh, seven, uh, with me if you have any questions or would like to say something we still have a couple minutes uh, other than that if not so then uh, we will conclude our uh, gathering for to uh, today so yeah it was very nice it was very nice and at least it wasn't uh, hard for me to speak all 45 or 50, uh, 50 minutes <laughs> as we had more discussions. So yeah, we will do that in the, uh, for the next time again. Um, just maybe a little announcement. Uh, I sent email contact information to Bishop Peter Stasiuk to join us in our Zoom meeting uh, for our catechism. I did not receive a reply yet so if he will confirm day and time, I let you know, and then we will go from that. So we will have guest speaker who will uh, who will uh, who will speak a little bit more about this book, Christ Our Pascha, as he is divan in the commission. He was the head of the commission who was responsible mm -hmm. for. Uh, so he can tell us maybe some secrets, some uh, nice story, how everything is placed together. <laughs> So yeah, at this moment, I would like to say thank you to all of you who join us. May good Lord continue to bless you and may the Holy Spirit continue to, uh, to open our mind and our heart to understand, uh, to understand God's word and especially to have respect for Lord's day so that we will never steal his day uh, in, uh, in, in this life, that we will keep that day for reserve only for the Lord and good, good stuff. So this is what I wanted to talk a little bit more, but we remember that story famous when Jesus said, nobody can stop me to do good on Sabbath. So this is what we need to do as well, to continue to do everything good to others, even on the Sunday. And this is especially time for doing that. Okay, at this moment, I would like, yes, Natalia. Mm -hmm. This connected to, like, what to do on Sunday, like, the dress for Sunday to going to church, like, is that connected into this, this top, topic or not? Uh, well, uh, can you repeat one more time? Like, how do you to dress respectfully to go to church, where you just come and deem, like, on Sunday? Like, is that part of this or not part of this? You're talking about the dress? Yeah, how, how do you do that? Uh, yeah, I believe, yes, because... Uh, uh, this is a special special day for us, you know, so uh, this is how we celebrate Sunday, you know, because we feel the festivity. For example, if somebody um, uh, has a wedding or something, we are not coming because, you know, uh, to the wedding. And this is the same because it's more, the, more important than wedding because we come to meet Jesus Christ, his body and blood. So this is why the church and it was more stricter. Uh, when uh, I grew up, you know, in Ukraine, so you can come in, uh, you know, uh, sport uh, pants, you know, or shorts even, uh, you can come with uh, in fli uh, flip, uh, flip flops, you know, so all that stuff, you know, because you need to have a suit, you know, a shirt, white shirt, preferably. So it was, and this is how we show our respect. You know, so this is our special, this is how we show respect to Jesus Christ, to God, you know, because uh, other than that, it will looks like, oh, it's nothing special today. It will just come as we are, you know, and some people, they, they are doing that. But I believe this is, should be something special for us when we come to the, even during this, it's not only Sunday, but any time when we come to the church, I feel sometimes you know, when I'm working uh, around the residence or even in, around the church uh, in Rosborn or somewhere, and I need um, 
to take something or to take garbage, you know, something like that. And I'm in shorts. I come because, but I, I'm not comfortable to be there in shorts because I know that it's not, a, it should be, I need to have respect because Jesus is with us, you know, and we can, uh, you know, make that uh, feeling regular, daily feeling or ordinary. It should be some special, special, uh, special uh, between me and Jesus, even when I'm cleaning, doing something in the church. So I believe that the uh, the proper uh, proper uh, garment or clothes, it's plays important role with us to tell us, okay, this is something very important. First of all, in front of whom we are standing. And secondly, to tell us, yes, even the day, it's important. This is why we call not oh, our day, but it's Lord's day. It's Lord's day. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think we will conclude at this moment. So again, thank you so much to all of you for your wonderful participation. Yes. And then uh, next Wednesday, unless something will change, but at this moment, let's plan plan for next Wednesday again for seven o'clock. And we will continue. We'll continue our journey through the uh, commandments of God. God bless you all. Father.